Well, um, I would have thought that uh, given the weight of the concessions made by the teams, uh, I think it is now inevitable that the president will in fact face those charges. And his best remedy is not to make representations and not to uh, obfuscate and not to bring review applications. His best remedy is to have his day in court, which he's always wanted, to be found innocent if that is what he is. Uh, and if he feels prejudiced to make that point in court uh, rather than in other courts and through other processes. This is a very real danger uh, and I think the court was alive to that danger uh, and that is why I think um, Justice Navsa made uh, several references to the need to introduce something into the judgment that might give direction about how this, court, how this case needs to be handled going forward. I think that's essential. They can't, it couldn't form part of a court order because that would uh, serve to be, uh, uh, to bridge the <coughs> separation of powers. But I think the court could very easily uh, give some suggestions about how this matter should be dealt with. Um, we are, we've been in it for eight and a half years. I don't care if it takes another 18 and a half years. We are going to get to a situation where Jacob G. Zuma appears in court.